What's good, everybody? How y'all doing? This is Mario Matthews, owner and operator of Minas Teal Dawn Productions, and also new author to the book Dream No More, Rise of a Lion. If you'd like to support, please go and purchase our book. You can purchase it at Amazon.com or Lulu.com. On Amazon, we have the ebook and the paper cover, a paperback book of Dream No More, Rise of a Lion available. And on Lulu.com, we have the hardback. Minister Dawn Productions is an entertainment media production company focused on empowering the black family. Okay, so let's get to today's topic. What I want to talk about today is talking about some business. And I want to be a resource to young and up and coming authors about, you know, just what to expect and, uh, you know, what to uh, you know, the direction you want to go in the field when you are doing self-publishing. Um, in this particular video, I would like to talk about budget, okay? Now, there are many things that you should be looking out for when you are, uh, when you are planning for, you know, the trajectory of your book, the future, and, you know, uh, the resources that you have to allocate in order to make sure you have a high quality product, especially if it's self-published. So I wrote down a list of things that you should um, take into account. You know, some of these things, you know, it's up for debate. Some people may think, OK, well, you don't really need to think about that. But, you know, by, by no means I'm an expert. I, by no means I am not an expert. So with that being said, these are suggest these are suggestions uh, that you should take into account. Okay, so the uh, let, let's go down a list of things that I actually wrote down. So things that you should take into account when allocating your resources. Uh, number one, editors. Number two, graphic designers. Number three, interior designer. Number uh, four, reviewers. Five, a marketing strategist. Uh, six, field researcher. Uh, seven, equipment. Uh, eight, branding. Nine, business, new business creation. Uh, ten, getting a resident, uh, a resident agent. Uh, Eleven, opening a business bank account. Uh, Twelve, building a website. 13, opening a PayPal account or, you know, other external, you know, money source. Uh, 14, creating professional emails. 15, social media platforms. 16, business cards. 17, record keeping. 18, merchandising. 19, ISBN numbers. And 20, uh, Library of Congress control numbers. Now, some of these things may take, uh, you know, uh, a good, hefty portion of your budget. Some of it may not, may not take anything at all. However, um, you know, the amount of money that you will need, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, it may vary depending on the type of book, you know, the genre, the amount of pages, things like that. However, I think this is a good baseline, um, especially considering if you are jo joining the same field that I'm joining in, I'm, uh, I'm in, which is fiction, sci-fi, fantasy. Uh, so with that being said, I believe that $6,000 to $8,000 is a good baseline for your budget. Reason being is not only are you taking those 20 things that I named off in account, you're also taking in collateral, meaning if something were to happen in the process, you have the funds necessary to correct the problem. So that is very important. It is very important that you have the resources in order to, you know, solve any problems that may come up, um, especially if you have to do some backtracking. Or, you know, you know, you, you know, there's an unexpected, you know, um, circumstance that may have happened that you may have should have taken more special care of. And now you have the resources in order to manage that. So, yeah, yeah, 
6000 to $8,000 is my recommendation. Now, a lot of people would be like, well, you don't need that amount of money to, to actually publish a book. You can, you can actually do a book for less than that. That's true. You can do a book less than that. However, quality is very, very important in the field that you are getting yourself into. I'm not saying that it will be perfect. I'm not saying that anything is perfect. What I'm saying is as long as you have the resources necessary to make the best quality product that you can is important. Okay. Now, in uh, future videos, I'll be going down this list of things. And, and you know, for, for reference, this is not in any particular order. Um, however, I will be going down these list of things. To um, to sort of, you know, give you more specific information about, you know, how you would allocate resources to these things. Uh, I found these things to be very, very pivotal and, uh, you know, essential to the process. So please stick with me and we'll talk about it because I want to help y'all, man. I want to help y'all get on your feet when you're being an inspiring author yourself, you know. You know, I went through the ringer. I made sure I wrote down uh, things that needed to be done uh, for this process to be successful. And hopefully y'all find this video informative. All right. In that case, my name is Mario Matthews, owner and operator of Minutes Till Dawn Productions and author of the new book, Dream No More, Rise of a Lion. In stores now, you can pick that up on Lulu and Amazon.com. All right, y'all. Take care. Everlast.